Debbie Birch and I'm with the Queen Anne's County Office of Tourism and today we're here to talk about the 10th annual free kids fishing derby and I have Kevin from the Natural Resources Police Reserve Officers and I have BJ from the Ken Island Elks and they're going to give us some of the information about it and this is a great event it happens every year on 4th of July and like I said it is a free event and you know it doesn't get better than that so tell us a little bit about what happens and you know what do the kids do while they're there and prizes and all that good stuff okay the uh this is our 10th year for the fishing derby okay. uh, we have a lot of law enforcement involved uh, fire departments we have the phillips wharf uh, fishmobile coming oh, okay. this year so that's brand new it's a bus that has all kinds of hands-on stuff for right. the kids um, registration starts at 7.30. We start fishing at 8 o'clock to 11 o'clock. And we have four age groups for the most fish, the smallest fish, and the largest fish. Okay. Awards for each of those in four different age groups. And we do provide lunch and drinks for everybody. Everything, like you said, is completely free. Okay. And we'll go over some sponsors with BJ in a minute. And then we also, we provide our own bait. You can only use the bait that we give you. Ah, um, to no keep, secret stuff right, coming no, in. No lures, <laughs> artificials, or anything. Gotcha. It's to, to keep it fair for all the little kids. Right, right. And then, um, so you have, we do have about 50 loaner rods. If you don't have a rod, we have okay. loaner rods you can borrow. That was going to be one of my questions, okay. and, because they don't have tackle. Right, and we do, and we have tackle. So basically, all you need to show up, if you have your own fishing rod, bring it. You might want to bring a lawn chair. You know, most people kind of pack little picnics and sit right, right. along the pond and stuff. And I guess I forgot one important thing. This is at Terrapin Nature Park. Correct. I, I just realized that I never, we never even said where it's at. Right, so it's, it's at Terrapin, Terrapin Pond. Yep. Okay. Go in uh, the light at the shore stop, make the left, and then make the very first left. We'll have signs out right so you know where you're Chesapeake going. Right into the Chesapeake Bay Business Park, and you follow the road right around. Correct, okay. yes. So who are some of your sponsors? Because to put this on and have a free event, that takes a lot, you know, right. of community support. Who are um, a few of them? We have uh, Bass Pro is our main one. Nice. We have Fallen Firefighters, uh, Paula and TNT Jewelry Stores, and Pepsi. Okay. And also, anybody that, there's a lot of, you know, single parents that don't know how to fish or anything. They bring their kids, but we have somebody that will show them how to, you know, Excellent. fish and everything. And so, I know you said the different categories. Are there prizes? Can they win stuff? <laughs> yes, we have. Um, they're actually pretty good prizes. Each winner gets a trophy and a fishing rod. I think I think I have a trophy right, up there. That's, that's last the year's. Traffic. Okay, yeah, <laughs> trophy like last year's, and they all get a fishing rod based on you know the highest. Really? Yep. So they get a fishing rod, and also we give them um, the goodie bags. the goodie bags we that have. they get for free. Okay. But prizes they get fishing rods and trophies. And then the overall winner will get a hundred dollar Bass Pro gift certificate. Wow. So that's for the overall winner. Okay. So they walk away with some pretty good stuff. And what are the ages again that can that can come to this? Anywhere from any age basically as long as they're you know, they have to have a parent there up to fifteen years old. Okay. The other key too is that July fourth, the reason we picked July fourth is it is a free fishing day in the state of Maryland. Ah. So, so that also allows parents to fish with their kids. However, they're not to any fish the parents catch do not go right. to the kids. The kids have to catch their own fish. Right. But three, four year olds, we understand if a parent helps. Okay. Helps yeah. Them, but yeah. you know they can't be ruining them in casting and all that. Right. It's, it's for the kids. Nice. So that's a good idea. I didn't even think about the fourth. I, I was wondering why you picked Fourth of July, right. but that's that's a great. And and that's a good family day too. Right. And so the that's other, what it's all about yeah. is the family, just right. getting the family together for three or four hours. Mm -hmm. Very nice. And so again, this is Fourth of July at Terrapin Nature Park at Terrapin Pond, and it's the um, tenth annual. So you've been doing this for a while. It's open to just about any age, kids up to fifteen. S 15. Um, prizes, trophies, and you said that you do give them lunches also. Yes. So it's a huge event to come out to. Right. Um, and spectators are welcome, I'm guessing. Sure. Absolutely. Okay. Absolutely. And anything else that you, you know, you want to cover? Um, one thing I would like to say, as the years have gone by, we have been finding it harder to get donations and community right. support, which is understandable. So. We're always looking for any kind of community support, you know, money mm -hmm. or, you know, donations of prizes, um, 
you know, food. Rita's will be there. They give out frozen ice. They've been doing that every year. Okay, that's so nice. We're also going to have uh, some DNR uh, canine exhibit this oh, year. Oh, nice. Okay. A canine recruiter. Um, Oh, the other thing we're going to have, this is for everybody, parents as well, we're having a patriotic dress-up contest. Oh, I did see so, that yeah, on, yes. So whoever comes and dresses up the most patriotic for 4th of July will win a prize. Very nice, and that's parents included. Parents included. Okay, so yep. they, everybody can go crazy with the red, white, and blue hair and spray your hair and paint your face exactly. and everything else. So there'll be a prize for, you know, who the most patriotic person is very nice very nice and i'm trying to think if we've missed anything we talked about the time the where contact information is on the screen so people can register right, right. online yep. um do you need volunteers or are you pretty well staffed we're, with that we're pretty well staffed yeah, we have a lot of uh, elk members okay that that's what i sort of was thinking the reserve officers volunteer also okay and so the other thing too as far as our elk gum volunteers we all wear these very bright yellow shirts are yellow this year right yeah so if anybody has any question they any problem sees anybody not about you know paying right. attention to the rules to just come get us or any of the natural resource okay. police officers and then just one other thing i'll throw out there too that's something new this year our scout troop ken island what 496 i believe yes. it is right they're going to be handing out um some bamboo homemade bamboo rods like oh, we wow. used to use as little yes. kids with the little string and a hook on I it i remember that so they're gonna <laughs> so do i <laughs> so they're gonna um, the scouts are working on a project to hand those out to everybody that attends this year oh too, wow so. that's really nice so we're really looking forward to a you know banner year so excellent excellent well i i, I hope you have good weather and does it go on rain or shine? Yes, yes. it does. Okay, because the fish don't care whether it's raining or shining. <laughs> right. If, now, if it's thundering or storming, right. I would still suggest to come up, and then we may just get started late. Right. But we're not. We if it is thundering, storming, we will not. You know, obviously, not be out on the field. Okay. And what time again is registration? Uh, seven thirty. Yes. And uh, activities begin at eight until okay. twelve noon. All lines out of the water by eleven. Okay. So it starts prompt. So. Well, thank you both for coming in. And again, I hope you have a beautiful day that day and a, a lot of kids show up. Yep. So thank you very much. Thanks for thank having you. us. You're welcome.